out of you too. <laughs> so, um, in case anybody is an idiot, oh, Mr. Joe Mule, thank you for hosting my stream. Um, this is the U.S. Uh, sequel, not to get mixed up with the uh, the Lost Levels. Okay. Yeah, because the Lost Levels one is just a goddamn mess. Mm, yeah. Which I don't mind playing. <laughs> But no, um, I did play the the NES version last year, and I got myself a game over very quickly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's because um, uh, the uh, the first version actually has a continue system, and if you get game over, you're sent all the way back to the beginning of the game. That's how it functions. Same thing with the first Mario game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, enough enough doodling around. Uh, what character should I go for? Let's just go for Mario. The instant you start the game, you just hit the fucking death screen and it's just like, well, fuck. <laughs> God damn. Mario was just like falling like a feather. Which is odd because of how fat he is. <laughs> His freaking love for pasta and ravioli. <laughs> I think that's... That's a tad racist. He can like pizza like the rest of us. He says it himself! It's not my fault! <laughs> Well, Nintendo is racist. <laughs> fucking Nintendo from like 15 years ago. Fucking. It's like, okay, he's Italian, so he loves pizza and ravioli. That is the <sighs> ravioli. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and re enter this stage so that way I can get more coins. Yeah, fuck you, Shy Guy. I don't wanna get touched by you. Alright, so re entering the stage. Eat that! Nice little row right there. Ye, he loves his pasta. Oh hell yeah! Got time, uh, time freeze. Fuck you. The Mario isn't fat; he's chunky. No, that's fat. That's definitely fat. Yeah, that's definitely. like prime definition of fat. Yeah, he's definitely like if he's if you put him and stand him, like side, like as he's standing, like to his side, uh -huh. he has a beer gut. That is a beer gut. That's that's not that's not chunks, my friend. Oh, that's something I have. I wouldn't describe that as chunks. <laughs> no, no, uh, the, the beer gut. I don't need yeah. that. I'm already full health. Kaboom! God damn it. Uh oh. oh. Hi, Logic. Howdy. <laughs> you failed to scare me. Fuck well, it. But one other thing you accomplished, you probably got my audience deaf. Fuck. <laughs> you were like, say hi to Logic. You were like I the fail and... yeah. You were like the thud ad from uh, Tiny Toons. How I spent my vacation. <laughs> <laughs> so most of you probably know what that is. That is logic, right? I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> Just like what? What was that? What was that, Wolf? I misheard you. Oh fuck! I plummeted into the pit. Say hey, everyone. I think logic you... just gave everybody tinnitus. <laughs> like, everybody just has a ringing in their ears. I'm sorry if I hurt anybody, but you know. <laughs> I refuse to let the meme die. <laughs> what, trying to scare me? Yeah. It's one of those things in life is like, even if you'll never succeed, it's healthy to keep trying because, you know. See, too much bliss and... You only lose moment. if you give up. Uh, yeah, it seems like it. Wise <sighs> words said, said by some person. Damn it. Should I go up the old-fashioned way or just take this goddamn shortcut? Ah, damn it. Okay. Well, I guess I have to go the long way. Not that yeah, I have sorry for it. any of the years that I have, um... Yeah. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Run this way. Just like real-life logic, I can't hear it anymore with enough loud noises. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and grind for more coins so that I can play that fucking slot machine. Well, nope. whole solo wins because solo was trying to deafen people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I I'm think gonna it's say like, the like, word. Like, <laughs> like, last, I remember last time you mentioned how, like, you know, it's easier if you're in the game rather than observing the chat. Yeah. And cause... when you and Wolfred were in here, I knew you were like at least a ways into the game. I will say this much. Um... When Solar came in with a bang and screaming his ass off, uh, what was it? I'm here to fuck Alicorns and eat ass. Like, I didn't, like, I heard how loud he was, but it legit did not scare me. Mm -hmm. I think, 
I think a part of that is because Ellie saw like her to come and she's like, ah, it's like, well, wait, what was that? I'm here to fuck Alicorns. Like, oh, hi, Solar. <laughs> Also, I'm thinking you might be used to it since everybody keeps trying it. So you've almost acclimatized to the very sudden out of place loud moments. <laughs> Just like a freaking adapted to the unexpected. It also doesn't help that I um I don't have the stream at full volume. Nice. Yeah. Fucking Jack and the Beanstalk over here. Luigi is just climbing. Yeah, that's Mario too. Climbing. Like the lengths Luigi has to go through just to, you know, remain second best and never be acknowledged by anyone. <laughs> egg, Luigi bitch. trying to save like Peach so Mario can get a kiss on the forehead and some cake. So here I am with freaking Birdo and she's spitting out eggs. It's actually Did kind of Birdo get into some controversy it? because they thought Birdo was like a dude. Like, like nobody could figure out if Birdo was a dude or a girl. Why am I hearing an echo? Why am I hearing an echo? I don't know. That's not. Oh no, that's not me. Oh, that's Peter. Hi, Peter. Boy, bliss. Boy, you're here. Boy, you're you're here. hearing an echo because he's an echo. Ow, fuck. Ow, Ears. Fuck. Ow. Ow. Jesus. Jesus. I can hear from Pe Okay, one of you fucking mute yourself. Fuck you. Calm it's down. Aeon. Okay, I got my head set in properly. There we go. Yeah. Aeon. Yeah, he had to get his headset on. <sighs> uh, is Birdo a girl or a guy? I don't fucking know. <laughs> no <laughs> plan. Okay. He's both and he's neither. <laughs> did I finally get this damn thing? Was yep. you okay over there? How the fuck did I get lemonade on my keyboard? My lemonade is on the other side of my desk. That sounds like a personal problem. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta keep better track of your lemonade, Lonnie. All right, last one. Like that, that reminds me of one time where, like, I spilled energy drink on my desk back when I was drinking energy drinks because apparently <laughs> I didn't have any value in my own life. Um, hold on. So I now reached over like thirteen <sighs> lives. Wait, why am I saying over? I'm at thirteen lives. Well, I mean, I don't know why are you saying that? <laughs> it's technically over that amount because you have all those lives plus the life you have after you run out of lives. Unless that's not how it works in this game. <laughs> Motherfucker done stole his magic carpet. Wait, hold on. Do you die, <laughs> like, do you die on one life left or you, do you die on zero lives left? Uh, you die on one life left. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah. that is, yeah. It's how you say. Uh, I fucking hated this part of the game. No! Oh god. No. I can hear myself no. again. Here comes Luigi just fucking shit up. Just fucking lives. up the ecosystem. <laughs> These creatures lives. were just standing lives. there minding their own business. Here come Luigi throwing keys and shit, and they're like, oh. Wait, hang on. Yes. yes. I'll take that. They'll take that. Okay, All right. so according to me, dude, I'm just... 12 a giant cat has 13 lives. Which is news to me. I thought they'd have 18 lives. The... What, what the hell? He was right next to the explosion and it didn't hurt him. Kiss my fucking butt cheeks. Seriously? <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to nah that one. Nah. <laughs> my point exactly. That's a resounding nah. Nah. It somehow is channel? like it sounds a lot less weird when you say "kiss my ass." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but kiss just my butt cheeks is too goddamn specific. <laughs> it sounds like, oh my god, are you serious? Oh I ducked. Yeah. And like, I can hear myself like again. Some, duck. It sounds like something you hear in like a super. Hold on. Duck. Because duck. your guy yes. at Logic Beerus has infinite lives. Technically, no. If you kill the Supreme Kai, he has one life. <laughs> Damn it, I missed. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna throw you in the pit. That's right, I paid attention to Dragon Ball Super. Yes, lol, nerd. Ha 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 ha, something, something. Oh my what fucking god. Fucking oh, nerd. What, what, do you, what do you mean, freaking nerd? I am a Dragon Ball Super and Z right here. It's yeah, I know, it's just like, so I can't even I duck to avoid this gone coming bullet. Seriously? What the it, fuck is the point of a ducking mechanic if it doesn't work? No, if anything, okay. logic, I respect you more. Oh, yay. Chat, you see these nerds? Fucking nerds. Oh, fuck off. That's yeah, exactly why yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, off. Yeah, it's like, fucking... 
That is quite interesting, though, the relationship the Kais and the Gods of Destruction have, because you'd think they'd trust each other more being tied to one another. But Beerus is just a dick all the time. <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Oh, I guess it wasn't there. Damn it. Oh, shit. Don't touch me. It's like, surely the Supreme Kai should be basically immune to any threat the God of Destruction would make, because if the Supreme Kai is destroyed, the God of Destruction dies. Um... Or is, like, are there some pieces to that puzzle I'm missing? I do not know the way. <laughs> you, you have not been enlightened <laughs> to the ways of Ogandan Knuckles. Okay. <laughs> like, Ogandan? If, someone knows, if someone knows better than me, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just, like, Google it. I hate how funny that meme is because it's so funny. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, shit, shit, damn it, damn it, shit. What the hell? Damn, you were so up... loud that it picked up other... Oh, damn it. You picked up... The... You... <laughs> Peter picked up your up... feedback. No, I mean, I I'm up... hearing it too. Yeah. yeah. And what? Like, well, it's normal for me to hear you through you, Peter, but I also hear a second echo after the fact. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so, Darth Rex. It's not just Peter. Somebody else is on. Oh, what the oh, fuck was that? that? Are we being hacked? I blew into my audio jack. Uh, I did not. I don't know how in fuck that would have been picked up though, because my mic was disconnected to blow out the port that it was plugged in. Plot well, twist: so the jack receives audio. <laughs> maybe your maybe your I'm okay now. your microphone is different. Also, we have a question. You mean it's a magic possessed demon microphone that it that can pick up things even when not plugged in? That's Probably. a lot more interesting than what I was going with. That sounds a lot more. Was, that sounds a lot more accurate. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, because my microphone is meant, dangling from my headphones. Ah. Yeah. What I meant is that like you have another input source. Hmm. No, there like there is one in the phone, but it's not near the audio jack. That's the that's the weird God part. God damn it. It was in a bad position. Here, last egg, bitch. Fuck you. Also, we have a question from Darth Revan 226 <laughs> of, like, aimed at me and Bliss. What is your favorite villain in DBZ and your favorite DBZ movie? Uh, you first. Okay, so my favorite villain is, and I know this is probably, like, really cliche, but it's Frieza. Just okay. straight up. Freeze is the one of the best Dragon Ball Z villains, if not the best Dragon Ball Z villain. And as for okay, favorite DBZ, cyber, cyber high five. Yeah. As Eat. for favorite, as for favorite DBZ movie, I am going to cheat like a lot because my favorite Dragon Ball franchise movie is Dragon Ball Super Broly. Broly, there's no one. The new Broly just saw that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I would say my favorite movie thus far, though, would be. Um, um, Dragon Ball, I think, is it, I think it's Dragon Ball Super, um, God of Destruction. Um, oh, you're thinking oh. of Battle of Gods. Yeah, Battle of the Gods, sorry. That was the last, that was actually the last product of Z before they transitioned into Super. Oh, okay. See, I, I'm really bad at keeping Yeah. Essentially... And if they're in there better not be any weeboos out there telling me, oh my god, you're not a real fan if you can't get this series <laughs> right. Screw you. I will they're about to weeaboo you, Bliss. They're good. they're coming. <laughs> yeah, okay. That, that's it. That's just like, okay, what you just explained there is an example of just an entitled fan compared to a casual fan. A casual fan who's yeah. more respectful to anybody who likes something. Like Bliss and Logic, who like DBZ a lot. Yeah. They're coming over Ye the horizon. They're gonna come here. Prepare for battle. Yeah, well, they'll be, they'll be exhausted if they're coming over the horizon because most of these tend to be fat. <laughs> so, a lot of them, so a lot of them will be exhausted by the top of the hill and then they'll probably break their legs under their own belly weight. Uh, by the time <laughs> they reach the bottom. Like a bunch of fucking bowling balls. <laughs> here with the fucking no mercy. I'm not wrong. <laughs> no. no. Is and then not. a wave of unfuckables just all broke their legs in unison <laughs> under the weight of their own bodies. 
tripping over their prop katanas and losing their a their animal ear headbands. Mine. They pile at the bottom of the hill. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Naruto running while screaming, "Believe it!" Even though they're trying to defend Dragon Ball because they're just as inept as the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> We People, broke golden. The carnage is terrible. There, everyone is screaming for a phoenix down, but none will come. For this is real life. Well. <laughs> I'm just getting fucking mental images of like, okay, the way I was seeing it was more just, you know, <laughs> based off of just how exhausted they were coming over the hill. It's like, hey, you're not a real DBZ fan of you. <laughs> 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 Oh, no, and you know what? That. You know what? I mean, I know I'm. Yeah, I'm a stupid old millennial here, like really old millennial, apparently. But I, I, I apparently I have recently discovered a few days ago what you call those people. What? Neckbeards. <laughs> oh no, no, these are weeaboos specifically. Like a we, oh. a neckbeard can be a weeaboo. Well, but... you're hitting at least three of the stereotypes. They are. They think they they're overly confident. They have their stupid katanas. So they're overweight and. They... <laughs> Yeah, I know, but um, I'm. And they're enemy. That happens to overlap with being a weeaboo. Ah. So I, is it bad that I also just imagine that one of the dying weeaboos was Tricky Fox because he's a resident German weeaboo? Yeah, he kind of. Is. I mean, you well, see I mean, his. He's like standing from the top of the hill. He's a defeated general in a lost war where the weebs couldn't conquer, couldn't reach the the. <laughs> Cannot reach the objective. No! <laughs> he bows his head in defeat and goes back to Germany. Oh, god damn it! I was way too close. Instead of saying something like really bad, I'm just gonna stick to the weird direction I was gonna take it by simply saying a bunch of weird who's coming over the hill would probably be exhausting because they'd be there first time. <laughs> I'm so mad how I got that joke, and I'm ashamed of myself for laughing at it. <laughs> God damn it, Logic. Damn it! Ugh. Oh, that's right, you can't hurt those things. Funny. I mean, take pride in the fact that you're the only one who did, or the only one that found it funny. <laughs> I hate you. Well, I sit here feeling really self-conscious about the fact that apparently nobody else did. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, get off stage! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I missed. Oh. I want a refund. These tickets are free still. I still want a refund. Oh, as soon as I... <sighs> Never mind. Whoa, no! Oh, oh. I missed it. Peach is unwieldy. What? I said Peach is unwieldy. You oh. fell right on the spikes. Oh, ha ha ha, Ripple. Speaking of fattening things, hey, Mr. Code, Japan did in America. Um, for the release of Windows 7, Japanese Burger King has released a special version of the Whopper that had seven beef patties on it. Good God! <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about? You want to talk about a serious case of diabetes? What the shit? <laughs> <coughs> Goldie, well, not diabetes. Dude, that's a heart attack. Like, that's like clogged yeah, that's, arteries that's heart attack, everywhere. Not di diabetes would be if it was sweet. Cholesterol uh, elevated to the max. Heart attack potential. So, okay. So the Japanese out American the Americans basically. And yet, oddly Mind enough, Florida, you'd actually be surprised at that. The, the thing is, America's the only one that's really called out for its portion sizes. But hilariously enough, if you go to most of those countries, they do have eating challenges that are legitimately no different. Like, you know, typically if you find like a picture of like some really big fattening food, you'd be surprised to find out that a lot of the time it's taken in Germany. And yet, okay, so based off of what you said about the amount of patties that are on the burger, uh, the Whopper, somehow Japan, Japan is still like one of the thinnest countries, as, as in like people are incredibly thin. Yeah, it's because um they eat a lot, a, they eat a massive amount of fish because they have to be an island nation. So, uh, fish is way more plentiful than, say, beef grazing animals are. Right. They still have access to beef. Don't get me wrong, but it's more expensive to get it out there than it is in America, where because you know we're well. Another thing about the American perspective is that America is, I think, the world's largest exporter of agriculture and food goods because we just have the land to do all that. So 
Oh. Um, we sort we something we sort of take for granted is the idea that like beef is like ludicrously cheap for us because we happen to grow it here. 